Hello everyone, have you ever wondered what's the deal with them little images in browser tabs? Well they're called Fabicons and in this video I'm going to show you how to make one for free and upload it to your Squarespace site. So I'm in Canva at the moment and um, this is where we're going to make our Fabicon and then we're going to download it to our computer and upload it to Squarespace. Um, you can use Photoshop for this if you want, but I know a lot of people don't have access to Photoshop, so for the purpose of this, we'll use Canva. So if we come across to use custom dimensions, and we need a perfect square, so I'm going with 100 by 100 px for now, um, and click design. Okay, so now it's just a case of letting your imagination run wild. Um, you don't want to be putting lots of small text because it's getting scaled down very small, so you won't be able to read it anyway. So we'll just go with, for now, we'll just create like a circle um, with our brand name, whatever our brand name is. Um, so I'll just click on elements, go to shapes, and just grab a circle. Chuck that in there. And then we can change the color of this by coming across to this, pick a color icon. We'll go with orange. Okay, grab some text by clicking on this text tool. Put that in in the middle. We'll change the color of that to white. Let's just delete this. Extra text. Uh, we'll make this text slightly bigger, so let's just click on that and then we'll go to the text size. Let's make that up to 14. So that's what I'm going to use as my favicon now. So if we just go to download and PNG, hold tight, preparing your design. I'm just going to click away from that. Okay, so that's saved now to our computer. So if we just close Canva down, go to Squarespace, and we want to go to design, logo and title, and then browser icon, favicon. So we just click on that, add a favicon, and there we go, we can select that. Just hit save. Now you'll notice that it doesn't show up straight away, the favicon, so what we need to do is just refresh the page. And sometimes you'd have to do this a couple of times before it actually shows up. There we go, it showed up now. So you see, I mean, the text is still quite small in that, so you might just want to put a a big letter if you wanted anything in there or a shape or you know just let your imagination as i say run wild and go create favicons so hope you found this tip useful if you did leave us a thumbs up below and if you're not already please do subscribe and hopefully i'll see you in the next one see ya